You're listening to a Roddenberry podcast. Today is Thursday, July 1st, 2021, and this is your daily Star Trek news from the Roddenberry Podcast Network. On today's show, award winning director John Ehrman has passed away at the age of 85, and I've got a bumper list of events covering the next two weeks. I'm Allison Pitt, and today's show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Get 10% off your first month of counseling at betterhelp.com forward slash DSTN. Okay, so before we get going, I want to let you know that for next week, we are taking the week off of Daily Star Trek news. Now, you know what the news is like. It's relentless, and we deserve a break. (laughs) Anyway, uh, we're going to use that time off for a little bit of R&R, and we're going to come roaring back with the news on Monday, July 12th. Now, not to fret, I have got a week of Star Trek stories planned for you, starting tomorrow with the newest members of Daily Star Trek News, Jack and T. Then we're observing the Independence Day holiday on Monday, and then it's another four days of Star Trek stories from listeners just like you. Now, speaking of Star Trek stories, if you have a Star Trek story that you would like for me to maybe read on the show, uh, please send it in. You can hear stories from other listeners and viewers just like you, and you can submit your own at dailystartreknews.com forward slash Star Trek stories. But (laughs) all of that, I digress. Um, It's a long show of events uh, today because I was going to do two events uh, for to cover this week and next week. Uh, But sadly, we've got the news of a death in the Star Trek family this week. So out of respect, I wanted to make sure that we tell you about him uh, before we go away on our break. So we'll do that first, and then it'll be on to events. John Ehrman, whose extensive television directing career included the Star Trek The Original Series episode The Empath, has died at the age of 85, as confirmed by Deadline.com. A friend of Ehrman's told Deadline that he died after a brief illness. Ehrman began his career in show business with a brief stint as an actor before becoming a television director in the 1960s. He was most known for his work on classic 60s shows like The Flying Nun, My Favorite Martian, and That Girl. In 1968, Ehrman was tapped to helm The Empath in the original series' third season. Series veteran John Meredith Lucas was originally slated to direct the episode, but according to the reference book, These Are the Voyages, TOS Season 3, his involvement was quashed by Paramount executives after going over schedule and over budget, shooting the uh, prior episode, Elan of Troyes. Now we've got some third season budget issues that are noticeable in The Empath, which was filmed with minimalistic set design as Kirk, Spock, and McCoy became the subjects of a torturous science experiment conducted by mysterious aliens called Vians. The unique filming style stood out for DeForest Kelly, who shared in These Are the Voyages that it was one of his favorite episodes. I thought it was so dramatically done, he said. The entire stage was blacked out in black curtains, and everything was done in pen spots. It was so unique in production values and the cinematography on it. In the 1970s, Ehrman moved into the burgeoning realm of TV miniseries, garnering Emmy nominations and a win, also receiving Directors Guild Awards for Roots, starring LeVar Burton, and An Early Frost, which was the first TV movie to address the AIDS crisis. Please join Daily Star Trek News and me in extending our condolences to John Ehrman's friends and family. I've got the weekend's online events in just a moment, but first, a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. BetterHelp is an online counseling service that aims to get you the help you need in a way that suits you. If there's something standing in the way between you and a more happy life, then maybe BetterHelp can help. When you sign up for BetterHelp, they ask you about you, and they use that to find a licensed professional therapist tailored to your needs. Depression, sleep issues, and anxiety are just some of the areas they specialize in, but they also have counselors who can help coach you through family conflicts, self-esteem issues, or even LGBT issues. Whatever it is you need, you can start living a happier life today. And as a Daily Star Trek news listener, you can get 10% off your first month of counseling by visiting betterhelp.com forward slash DSTN. Join over a million people who have taken charge of their mental health 
Again, that's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com forward slash D-S-T-N. Right. Now, because we're off next week, we're going to do two weeks of events in one. So here goes. First of, thanks to the great success of their previous event, Sid City Social Club is hosting another special pop-up event with Star Trek Deep Space Nine's Alexander Siddig. That's happening this Friday, July 2nd at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Now, it's free to attend Sid City Social Club, but space is limited and it's first come, first served. For more information, including how you can join in, visit sidcity.net slash social club. Then, on Saturday, July 3rd at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, Dr. Mohammed Noor, Star Trek science advisor and friend of us here at Daily Star Trek News, will be appearing on a virtual panel with Dr. Katie Mack at Injunction... It's not Injunction Con. <laughs> That's a whole different thing. It's called In Conjunction, uh, In Conjunction 40. Uh, Dr. Mack and Dr. Noor will be talking about science and general nerdery. It should be a lot of fun. Now, the in-person con, check it out, is taking place at the Indianapolis Marriott East all weekend, and you can buy virtual passes as well if you'd prefer. Uh, The panel with Dr. Noor and Dr. Mack is a virtual one. I just thought I'd better clarify that. Uh, To find out more, including how you can buy tickets and the precautions that they're taking at the in-person event, uh, you can find that out at uh, inconjunction.org. Now, there's a little side note here. Uh, Double check the times if you intend to go or if you intend to watch. The time zone situation, as it turns out, in Indiana is a fascinating thing. Did you know, uh, I read this on Wikipedia earlier today, 12 of the 96 counties in the state of Indiana are in the eastern time zone. Uh, no, sorry, 12 of the 96 counties in the, in the state are in the central time zone, and the rest of them are eastern, and the whole state uniformly observing daylight savings time is actually a relatively recent development. Uh, I think it was 2006 or something like that. Now, the history of the whole thing is fascinating. Uh, if you're looking for an interesting weekend read... <laughs> Go and check that out on Wikipedia. Uh, And of course, if you're in Indiana, write to me. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear what you think about it. Uh, Anyway, uh, just once again, double check the time. If you intend to watch that panel with Dr. Noor and Dr. Mack, just double check the time. I believe it's uh, Saturday, July 3rd at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Uh, Moving on. (laughs) Right, we're moving on actually to next week. And Shore Leave Convention 416 That's the online version of the con. Uh, That's happening on Saturday, July 10th and Sunday, July 11th. There's plenty of Star Trek related authors and scientists that are going to be there, including Kirsten Beyer, Peter David, David Mack, Dayton Ward, and Dr. Aaron McDonald. Uh, There's many others. Uh, You should check it out for yourself. Now, that convention is free to attend, and you can find out more about all the guests and programming at shore-leave.com. Also on Sunday, July 11th at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, some of the cast of Star Trek The Next Generation, (laughs) the fun ones, (laughs) will be on a virtual panel for GalaxyCon Live. It'll be Denise Crosby, Marina Sirtis, Jonathan Frakes, and John Delancey. And as per usual, you can purchase autographs and one-on-one video chats in attending, uh, sorry, in addition to attending that free panel. To find out more, including how to register and how to buy those extras, visit galaxycon.com. And finally, also on Sunday, July 11th at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, at the same time, Raphael Sabarge is appearing at the Wizard World Signature Series event for Once Upon a Time with his co-star, Keegan Connor Tracy. Now, in addition to playing Jiminy Cricket on Once Upon a Time, Sabarge also played the Kazon spy Michael Jonas in Star Trek Voyager. Now, that virtual Q&A costs $3.99 to attend, You can also upgrade to a series pass for more of their panels, and you can also purchase autographs and one-on-one video chats. For more information on that one, visit wizardworldvault.com. And of course, because we're off for a couple of weeks, it behooves me to remind you about the regular stuff that's happening. Uh, We've got the Twitter watch-alongs, hashtag AllStarTrek, hashtag TOSSatNight, and hashtag StarTrekHour. 
Uh, there's also Star Trek Watch Party, which is hosted on Facebook. Check them out. Uh, and of course, City, Sid City Social Club, I think their uh, normal uh, their normal meetings happen on uh, the first Tuesday and third Friday of every month. So you'll want to check their website to see if there's any other meetings that are going on. That's at SidCity.net. Now, links to all of these events and more up on Daily Star Trek News. Uh, DailyStarTrekNews.com forward slash events is where to check those out. And of course, if you have an event that you'd like for me to share, then please reach out either at info at dailystartreknews.com or you can tag us on social media as well. Well, that's it for today's Daily Star Trek News from the Roddenberry Podcast Network. Don't forget to check out the other great shows on the network at podcasts.roddenberry.com. Daily Star Trek News is produced by moi, Allison Pitt, uh, and it's written by Chris Peterson and Jack Brown with events by Marina Kravchuk. Today's show was sponsored by BetterHelp. Get 10% off your first month of counseling at betterhelp.com forward slash DSTN. I'm back tomorrow with a special Daily Star Trek news introducing our new staff members. That should be fun. Uh, And also the answer to this week's Trek trivia. I'm Allison Pitt. Live long and prosper. This is a Roddenberry podcast. For more great podcasts, visit podcast.roddenberry.com.